some people actually think that I'm a product junkie. Like, can you believe that? Like, there's no reason why anyone would say that about me. Hey, Curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, per your request, I'm going to show you my full curly hair product collection. Now, some people collect comic books, some people collect Beanie Babies. This is my thing. Now, I've kind of been teasing my little product shelf over here. I need a, I need a cute like name for this, like product heaven, curly haven. I don't know, leave me, some, leave me some suggestions. But you guys have noticed it, so I'm going to actually show you exactly what is in my curly hair stash over here. Now, I am proud to say that I have one, two, three, four, five full shelves of products that don't have any sulfate, silicone, or parabens. So I don't want to hear that you can't find any products that don't have the good ingredients because they exist. So I have separated all of my products by brand. So I have Diva Curl, I have Cantu, Trelux, Curls, Shea Moisture, Briogeo, Maui Moisture, Myel Organics, Curl Keeper, and then on the very bottom, it's kind of like my curly hair graveyard. And those products, unfortunately, do have silicone or sulfate. I don't really know why I'm holding on to them. I just have them because I know they're expensive and it's hard for me to throw them away. Don't ask me for them. I'm not gonna send you products that are not good for your hair. Sorry. But besides that little bottom row down there, everything else is amazing. So this is what life looks like when you have to share your office with your husband. So I have all his books and comics over here. Oh look, even his personal comic, Biopunks, now available at biopunkscomics.com for only $6. <gasps> but anyways, on top of here we have my Glam Glow collection where they're all the face masks that I use all the time in my Mask Mondays as I deep condition. And then I have my beloved mini beauty supply store. I literally just need like a cash register and some price tags and I'll be good to go. But this entire white bookshelf came from Target. It was $29.99, pretty affordable, and it worked great for all of my stuff. So as you can see, out of all the different curly hair brands, guess who shows me the most love? This shelf right here is deep like everyone else is like maybe six products five products still very grateful for them but no one shows me love like diva curl so i'm very very grateful for all these diva curl products so on the shelf i have a lot of no poo i have my one condition the deep sea repair mask my build up buster set of free sprays foaming sprays the leave-in ultra defining gel melt in the moisture and a plethora look how far back this goes this is all my super cream. My super cream is definitely my favorite, so I'm always stacked on my super cream. In the back over here, who's hiding? Uh, some Mr. Right, I have some hairspray when I want my hair to be extra big. This baby, oh, come on Betsy, come on. Oh. Check this out. This giant thing of the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. Like I'm still gonna use this bottle because I like the little nozzle. It's easier to apply to my hair, but I'm gonna be using this baby right here to refill. How many, this is 32 fluid ounces. That's insane. And then I have a curly kit back here. Oh, look, there's Bianca. The other Bianca in the corner. This will probably be a giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. And there is my beautiful Diva Curl shelf. That's why you're on the top, Diva Curl, because look at all the amount of product y'all send me. Going on down to the next level, we have some Can 2. Now I have their shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair. Now that I have highlights, I wanted to start trying these because they're supposed to be good for color treated hair. Then I have my conditioner that I bought for about $5 for my under $20 challenge that I did for you guys. If you haven't seen that video, click right here to watch it. But in that video, I did use their conditioner and their curl activator cream and got great results. I do have the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I'm not exactly a fan of the curling cream. I think it's too thick for my hair. I prefer the Curl Activator Cream. But funny enough, I have noticed that when I talk to people that like the Curl Activator Cream, they don't like the curling cream. And if they like the curling cream, they don't like the Curl Activator. So you gotta figure out which team you're on, um, but one of them should work for you. Then I have my Cantu Apple Cider Vinegar Root Rinse. This is also good for your scalp. Moving right along, I have my Trey Lux collection. A lot of people don't really know about Trey Lux. They're basically more online, some Whole Foods in select states, but I do love their products. They're all sulfate, paraben, silicone free, of course, but my favorite products out of their lines are definitely their stylers. The High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel is great, but my absolute favorite out of this line is the Curl Supreme. I get great results and it lasts me 
all throughout the week when I use that product. Going on down to the next level, I have my Shea Moisture. Now my Shea Moisture stash is a little bit smaller than usual because I've pretty much used everything and don't have those bottles anymore and I have no reason to go out and buy more hair products. Now I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of cheating in this one because this one is empty and so is this one. But because they are two of my favorite products, I like to keep these on hand so I can show you and recommend these Shea Moisture products to you guys instead of having to buy a new one just to show you the bottle in the video. But the Crow Enhancing Smoothie is definitely a go-to and so is the Low Porosity Conditioner. I love both of these products. I have the rest of the Low Porosity line right here. I have two of my favorite Shea Moisture masks. And what are you, oh, you're a face cleaner. You don't even belong on the curly hair shelf. And right next to it, I have my curls. This is the Curls Blueberry Bliss line. They have a leave-in, a gel, a shampoo, hair oil. This is my go-to edge control and an amazing hair mask. Moving on down the curly elevator, I have some Briogeo. I have their Curl Charisma line with their conditioner, shampoo. I have their coconut mask, their Do Not Despair mask, and I have their gel and defining cream. Briogeo is a high-end product sold at Sephora. They are a little pricey, but they have really great ingredients and they work very well. And then right next to them, I have probably the most affordable products on my whole shelf, which is Maui Moisture. So I have the shampoo, conditioner, uh, a mask and a styling product. These are all about like, I think they're like six or seven dollars now, sold at Target. Also, great ingredients. And my second to last shelf is my My L collection. I got all these My L products from my Beautycon bag. I have their edge control, conditioner, heat protectant, never use that one, um, shampoo, gel, and curly mousse. And then right next to it, I have my Curl Keeper. Now, the only reason you see two Curl Keeper products here is because the rest are in my bathroom because I use them all the time, but I have their slip and their styling cream. Now, right behind these products are kind of like my little curly loners, meaning only certain products out of these lines are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So I love, 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 love my Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. You guys have been able to find these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but only the jelly the shampoo and the mousse are sulfate, silicone, and paraben free. Their conditioner is not. Bumble and Bumble, their shampoo is sulfate free. Their conditioner is not. The Gabrielle Union Flawless line, this edge control checks out. The rest of her products do not. The Palmer's Olive Oil Shampoo, the cheapest shampoo that I have, and you get a huge bottle of it. This one is good. I do believe that their conditioner does have silicone though. So those are the products that like you have to really read the rest of their family members. These guys are okay, but their family members aren't. Haven't experimented too much with the Tully Wajid line. I have some pure oils, some Not Your Mother's. Uh, what are you, dry shampoo? I haven't really used dry shampoo that much. But luckily their ingredients are okay, so they still get to be on this shelf. And last and honestly least is my little graveyard down here full of all the products that have sulfate or silicone. So I don't even know why I have this section. I probably should just, I don't know. I can't throw them away because they're brand new, like expensive products. So they're just kind of chilling here until some scientist figures out a way to make silicone and sulfate work for our hair. But until then, they're just gonna be down here. But I do have my diffusers here as well. This is my Diva Claw. I have my Revlon diffuser, and these are two attachments that come with the Diva dryer and the Revlon one. Never have a reason to use those, but they're just kind of there. Then over here in my bathroom, I have my MVP. So on this little pedestal, I have the products that I pretty much grab like all the time. So I have my Diva Curl Super Cream, my Curl Keeper Original, my Curl Keeper Water Bottle that I use to refresh all the time. Curl Keeper Gel, Cantu Curl Activator Cream, and when I ever put my hair up in a bun, I use my Curls Blueberry Bliss Control Paste as my edge control. So these are my go-to products I like to have at an arm's reach at all time. And then I have my Curl Keeper Gel. Look at these jumbo size containers that they sent me. These are, this is one liter of gel. One actually came with this little like pump right here, so it's easy when I'm doing my hair just to pump and get my gel and go. And over here are my skincare products I just reviewed. If you guys wanna know how I cleanse my skin, you can watch that video as well. And in the shower, I have my large jumbo size Diva Curl No Poo Decadence and my One Condition Decadence. These come in the little 
I'm not little, but they come in these big pump bottles. There's 32 fluid ounces in both of these. And I have my build up busters. These are kind of like my go-to for when I take a shower. If I have some product build up, I'll use my build up buster. If I don't, I'll use my no poo and I detangle with my one condition decadence. So now that I've got all of my fellow product junkies excited, that completes my entire curly hair product collection. If you have not seen me review one of these products, you probably just missed it. I reviewed just about everything on this shelf. So check out my curly hair playlist to watch exactly how to style and use all these products. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.